Hello viewers and welcome back to another episode of Kings of Scotland with me, Bell Nation. You join me for the Old Firm Derby today, the biggest game in Scottish football between Rangers and Celtic. We are away at Celtic Park, it's going to be a big occasion. But just before we get into it, since we last met against Aberdeen and Hibs, we beat Hibs again in the league 2-0, we beat Hamilton 4-1. That result flatters us a little bit because we've scored in the 92nd and 94th minute, but it doesn't matter. We still picked up the three points. In the league, it's all to play for at the moment. This game is make or break at this point of the season, even though it's just eight games in. Us and Celtic are both on 20 points apiece. We're two goals behind them. This is the biggest game of the series so far. Let's have a look at the team for today. As you can see, Ryan Jack has picked up an injury. He's out for 12 days to four weeks. He's picked up a twisted ankle on international due to his Scotland. Bit disappointing, really, that he's picked up the injury. But we've got enough cover in the team to be able to cover his absence. So we should be not too bad for the next month. Hopefully no one else will pick up any injuries. Team for today is McGregor in goal, Barisic on the left, Katic and goal in the centre with Tavernier on the right. Aribo and Kamara in the centre, Kent on the left, Haggy in, in behind, Morelos who leads the line, and Ojo on the right. There's a partnership being built up on this left-hand side between Kent and Barisic, which is great to see after just eight games. Hopefully after a few more games, we'll see a few more partnerships build up. But let's get into this Old Firm derby, the biggest game in Scottish football. We know what this game is going to be like. It's going to be tough tackling. It's going to be aggressive. It's everything that we all love and know about the Old Firm derby tell the boys that we've got the faith in them to go out and do it today we know they can do it we've seen them do it so far this season apart from Torino we'll gloss over that but I'm confident in it that we're here in the tunnel it's a big big occasion the weather don't don't matter it's fine it's a tremendous occasion we'll be passionate as well we've got to expose Celtic's weaknesses we are the better team as you can see the sea of green and white against the sea of blue for Rangers it's a big, big occasion, and here we are, we've kicked off. Five minutes in, nothing to know at the moment, no highlights, we've had 82%. We've had a shot and one on target, but nothing to know at the moment. Come up to 10 minutes, we've not had a highlight yet, which I'm a bit surprised about for a game of this magnitude. Although we've had four shots and three on target, we're absolutely dominating Celtic at the moment, viewers, but nothing at the moment. I think we just tell the boys to show a bit of passion, just look for something. Although the early highlight, the first highlight rather than the early highlight, comes to Celtic, and it's 1-0. What has gone on there? In off the bar. How has McGregor not saved that? Ah, unbelievable. That's the first out of the game. I would say Celtic's first proper attack. <sighs> McGregor's palmed it onto his own bar. What are you thinking, McGregor? What are you thinking? 26 minutes in, we're 1-0 down. That's not what we needed to see. Team's looking anxious as well. Tell them to get creative. They look inspired by the feedback. Come to half time, it's been a quiet affair, really. Highlight wise, Celtic have had two shots on target, one of which has gone in from two shots. Tavernier, that poor ball across, he's just tried that little bit too much there. Celtic looks to come forward now in the centre. They're bringing it forward. Can we can we get the ball back just before our time? We could do to not concede here. Tavernier with a great header away, just can't get there to Morelos. Although Kamara's won it in a dangerous area, out to Kent on this left hand side. Morelos, 1-1, one, one. Morelos is there, it's 1-1, one, one. is he offside, is he off? no he's not, he's, I thought he was offside, 1-1 one, one just before half time, what a great time to score, his sixth of the season, I think that's his, his second in the league, he got his first against Hamilton, unmarked, what a bit of play by Kent that is, and there it is, it's 1-1 one, one just before half time, great, great bit of play, what a great time to score as well viewers. As you can see, we've absolutely dominated Celtic. We've reduced them to just two shots and two on target. Unfortunately, they scored from one, but we're playing the better football here. I think we just need to be assertive. Telling them we're not happy. Taverni looks stressed, but I think if we just try and give them a kick, it, it might have that reverse, reverse impact where they want to go out and now do something to impress us. We'll try and demand a bit more from the players. Barisic with a free kick, and Katic has just headed it over. I would love to pick up three points today. Celtic with the corner now. Can we clear our lines? Goldston. Oh, it's off the line. I thought that was going in. Goldston with a poor header really, really. Kent's looking nervous. Morelos is aggressive, which doesn't surprise me one single bit. Tell the boys to show some passion. I think we're going to make a couple of subs as well. We've not really said Ojo's name today, so he's going to come off for Barker. We'll bring Malin on for Aribo, who's getting a 6.4 as well. 20 minutes to go. It's 
it's an open game. We've had 20 shots and seven on target. I think if we try and get some more, the players demand some more. They look fired up. Or there's a Celtic corner here, and it's it's ping ponged around our defence. He picks it up again. Oh no, that could be a red for Katic. He's, he's got away with one there. I don't know how he's not picked up a booking or anything. Can we get a late, late goal? I think if we go very attacking, this could be counterproductive, but we just need to throw men forward. Cancel that. It's not what we need to do. And there it is. It's a 1-1 draw. It is just a 1-1 draw, unfortunately. Not very good for either team, but 23 shots and 8 on target, and we've come out with a 1-1 draw. Not good. There's where to be done there. Tell the boys we're not happy. They look fired up. I'm, I'm a little bit deflated after that performance viewers as we go nine games unbeaten but it feels like a loss drawing 1-1 one, one after having so many shots but it leaves us second in the league as well what we'll do is we'll play the Kilmarnock and Motherwell games offline we'll come back for Celtic and Hearts I know we just played Celtic but it is again it's Celtic it's in the semi-final of the League Cup it is a big occasion if you have enjoyed what you've seen today please don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you again for more tomorrow